Hey everybody, Jake here, and um, I know it's been a while, but I'm just going to kind of try to get back into doing this. Um, let's go ahead and start off with an unboxing real quick. This is a really cool limited, limited edition pen, still hard to speak after like three months, limited edition pen um, that I've seen sold out most places, um, but Yoseka Stationery happened to have it in stock, I apologize if I mispronounced that. Um, I've seen a lot of stuff, never bought anything from them, this is the first time came very very quickly in a um, just a padded envelope kind of thing um, and I, this is the outer packaging so I figured I'd go ahead and start here because this is really interesting looking um, very very classy very stationary based um, if that makes any sense I, I'm not sure it just it looks really really nice um, so we kind of have a piece of tape here kind of depicting a mountain this could be washi tape. I'm, I don't really know much about washi tape, so I apologize. Um, I do know they sell a lot of it, though. Let's go ahead and open this up here. This is also my first pen from this brand. Let's start off. Well, they kind of have everything, everything together. Um, so we have a sticker from their store, which is awesome. Um, and then we have a personalized letter dear Jacob thank you for your order we hope you have been staying safe and healthy during these times all right that spoils it a little bit so I won't if, if you want to stop and read that you can if you want a spoiler if not we will go ahead and open this up this is a lot smaller and less fancy packaging than I expected but that's okay this is a pen from um, Traveler's Company, I believe is what it's called. Let me just double check that here. I can't read Japanese, so... Yeah. Anyway, and this is it. It is the Traveler's Company. This is the their brass um, fountain pen, their little travel size one, but this is a limited edition color called Factory Green, and I really, really like this color. Let's go ahead and open it up here if I can actually get it from either side. There we go. And it does say uh, its body is made of brass and painted in the original color. As you use this pen, the paint will fade and the brass will be more visible to give a vintage taste. That paint is really, really nice on that. Try to get it up close here. And this packaging, I said it wasn't as fancy as I expected, but this is kind of cool. The way it kind of folds out and has all of your filling instructions and your ink cartridge there. Let's throw that to the side here. So Traveler's Company has their website and it tells you about brass patina ink, which is really, really cool. It tells you how to open and use the pen and ink cartridge stuff. I think this is a, uh, a really, really interesting color here. Um, and I wanted to get one before they sold out just because I love this shade of color. This greeny, bluey kind of color. Let's go ahead and open it up here. I believe it's... Is it twist to get it open? I should have read the instructions. It's not... See, I didn't read the instructions. That's what happens when you when you don't pop cap. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, this is tiny. Let me grab my... Kaveco Lilliput for a quick size comparison. So, roughly the same size when closed. This one's a little bit wider, but this is tinier than the Lilliput lengthwise. That's insane. Um, go ahead and set that back over to the side here. So this, uh, yeah, is not usable um, for me at least unposted. So that's. That's something. I believe it just slides on here. Yep. That's very well balanced. Um, I've heard a lot of good stuff about this pen from Brian Goulet. I believe he carries one with him, um, you know, generally. But it's it's really nice in person. The build quality is very, very good. A lot of brass pens, um, I, I'm trying not to generalize. A lot of brass pens, the majority of them, are often um, cheaper or poorly made pens because brass can be an inexpensive material. This brass is very, very well polished. Um, there's some milling lines here. 
and this is going to scratch up and patina very, very well. So if you're into that, this is a great one for you. Um, unlike the Lilliput, it does come with a clip, so I can see myself carrying this a lot more. Also comes with a little keychain thing, so you can toss that on your keys if you're into that. But overall, um, I like it a lot. It's a lot quicker than the Lilliput to open. Um, the only thing is with the Lilliput, I can use it unposted, kind of, for very quick notes. I can get just enough of a grip on it to kind of write with it. Uh, that's not going to happen with this one. But it's still very nice. So let's go ahead and open it up here. Okay. So yeah, just solid brass. And it looks like the nib units unscrew. They do. So you might be able to swap that out. This is a fine. That's the only size they had it in. Or uh, you all know I would not have gotten that. I'll go ahead and put in this ink cartridge. Um, also, if you, if any of you have any recommendations of a good color cartridge to get to match this, let me know down in the comments. I would love to have something as close to that as possible. Um, go ahead and open that there. But I think this black will do just fine for now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cat this, let the ink go down to the nib, and I will be back with a writing sample as soon as I get it working. All right, we're back and the pen is working. Um, I will say, so I normally do unboxing initial impressions kind of things, and so far it's all been good. I will say, um, when I, this, this is just a personal problem. You may not have this at all with any of these pens. Um, when I go to open it, I do fumble a little bit trying to get this tiny little pen to post well. Um, I have to be very particular about how I do it, um, but I also have kind of large uncoordinated hands, so that may be um, part of that as well. Let's go ahead and do a quick writing sample here. I haven't wrote in a very, very long time on camera, so it's going to be worse than normal. And this is just an online note card that I happen to have beside my desk. So. Little scratchy. Um, it could be the texture of this paper. So I'm gonna hold off on that until um, the full review. And I don't mean scratchy, I mean feedbacky, sorry. Um, there's a little bit of feedback. It's not unpleasant to write with, but you can tell it's there. Um, and it's just a, a kind of standard Traveler's Company branded nib. Um, so I also look and see if there's anything that I can swap this out with um, that's compatible, because that would be nice to be able to get a slightly nicer nib on this. Um, but I'm gonna carry this. It's gonna replace my Coveco. Um, I normally carry that in this little pocket slip with a knife, but because this has a clip, I won't need to do that. So this one's gonna be much, much easier for me to carry. So I'm gonna carry this and use this for mm, probably a few weeks, honestly, because it's gonna be a little bit different pen review. And um, I'll let you know how this holds up and if it's maybe gonna replace my Caveco. So we'll see about all that. But thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you're all staying safe um, and just trying your best to be is as careful and as cautious and as aware as you can be nowadays um just try to try to be safe um i, I don't want anything bad to happen to any of you guys um i'm not going to touch on any of the political issues at the moment um, i will leave donation links though down below if you're interested to help support black lives matter um not going to get into a huge debate but there that is. Um, you can kind of know where I stand on that. But just stay safe, um, stay aware, and keep writing. Thanks, guys. Bye.